Hey guys, how's it going? Steve from Cali Performance. Uh, I want to introduce you guys to one of our new products. Uh, right now in the Ultra 250s and 260s you have a manual tensioner that you tighten a little screw on top and it puts tension on the supercharger belt. Well, you guys have a lot of issues with those, with belt slipping, breaks your belt, um, loss of power, you know, a whole slew of issues with those. Uh, so we want to introduce you guys to one of our new products, which is an automatic supercharger tensioner for the 250s and 260s. If you're familiar with the 300s and 310s, they have this exact uh, style tensioner. So um, this is a very reliable um, tensioner that's going to bring, bring you guys the most amount of power you're going to get out of your ski, and you're not going to have any issues with belt breaking or lack of tension, you know, any of those sorts of issues. So I'm going to bring you over here, I'm going to show you guys the old tensioner, I'm going to put in the new one, and um, we should be good. So right now we have the uh, old tensioner down here, uh, which I unbolted. Um, you can see uh, this is all you guys with the 250s and 260s have them. Um, I unscrewed it a little bit, so we're going to take this guy out here. There's your old tensioner. And also with this kit, you're going to want to take off the, uh, the bracket uh, right here that you use to hoist the motor. So unbolt these screws. All right, so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna show you the brand new automatic tensioner that we've uh, constructed just for you guys. This is the automatic tensioner right here. It's very easy to use, and in a few minutes I'm gonna show you guys how it bolts up and how easy it actually is. So you're replacing this guy here, which is very crude, with the brand new automatic tensioner here. You don't ever need to adjust the tension on here. It automatically does it to you, does it for you. Um, you'll easily get 100 plus hours out of a belt. Instead of this guy, you know, you, you could break a belt pretty easily. So, the first thing you guys want to do is you want to put anti-seize on the bolts that we provided in the kit. Uh, there's a little bit on here already, but we'll put a little bit more just for the video. Got the second one. All right, uh, the kit comes with everything you need. So you got your two mounting bolts, which go here and here, and you got your top two mounting bolts here and here. And also it comes with the exact socket you need to remove the tension guard. All right, so we're gonna bring you back over and we're gonna put this together. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to put this together here. Um, the first thing I recommend doing is removing the oil separator. It's going to make your life a little bit easier. You don't have to, um, but I do recommend doing that. So, let me put this down here. So, the first thing you want to do is take these 8mm bolts, the long ones here, and you're going to slip them through the top holes here. And here, if you guys can see that. Okay, then you're going to take your mounting plate here that's, uh, that we took off before, and you're going to slip that through like that, and we're going to come down here, we're going to line those up, much better, alright, so you want to hand tight these uh, just for this moment. And you're going to take your 10 millimeter, um, your stainless that we provided with you, with the kit. Okay. Just make that hand tight as well. 
and your second one, which is on this side, down at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see this down here. Okay, let me grab the ratchet. Guys, I recommend you uh, you torque these down to uh, the torque that's specified uh, with the directions that come with this. Right now, I'm just going to uh, torque these down by hand, uh, just for the sake of time. So we got the top one. Eight millimeters, good. Bottom one. That one's good. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, since everything is nice and tight, is we need to release the tension that is on the that is on this cover right here. If you guys can see this, this cover right here. Don't try and pull it off by hand because it's going to sling back and uh, someone could get hurt because there's a lot of force on this spring here. So uh, we're going we're gonna to pull the uh, tension back so we can pull this piece off here and then this pulley here is going to be sitting on your, on your belt and it's going to provide consistent tension every time. So the best way to do this is using a breaker bar. We gave you this three-quarter inch socket uh, that is made to that is specifically made to be used with this tensioner. So don't use anything else because it could damage it, and we won't void it. We will um, it'll void the warranty. So you're going to take your breaker bar as such, and you're going to push forward, and you see how that just came right off. You let go, pull this off, and that's it. And the, uh, the, the pulley is perfectly on there. It's giving the perfect tension every time. Um, it looks great. And the only thing left is to put your uh, belt guard on that's custom fit for this bracket. Um, right here, this is an R&D OEM size tensioner. Uh, we have uh, a regular OEM for the Kawasaki pulley for this. Uh, but if you guys want um, custom sizes for your 1 to 1 to 1.05 to 1s uh, from R&D, uh, we can make those as well. Just uh, give us a call. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let us know if you have any questions.